My nine-year-old is learning the near impossible task of how to ride backwards. It just takes hours, hours, hours of practice. Find a wall, find a little ramp like this, go up, come back down, go up, come back down. One of the keys to riding backwards is really relaxing your body, relaxing your arms. People tend to get really stiff in the arms and not let that wheel track straight, but just relaxing and letting the bike just track straight is one of the keys. And then bending your knees and just letting, kind of controlling that, keeping your muscles kind of flexed the whole time, but relaxed at the same time is really weird, but that's sort of what you have to do. And once you learn it, it's a great skill. You can use it anywhere. I'll show a quick progression of ways to learn how to ride backwards. And you can apply this to basically any bike. So fun skill, good balance skill, good eccentric quad strengthening if you're trying to rehab from an injury or something. I was talking with a friend about that earlier. Um, eccentrics always loads your muscles a little bit differently, a little harder. So anyway, Enjoy this video and I'll show you a few ways to get into learning how to ride backwards. Tell me when it's square. Is it square? All right, the first thing we're going to do is I'm gonna use the BMX bike. It's a little easier in this tight space, but you're gonna run into a wall, lean forward, absorb the impact, and then use that momentum to pull back. And that's the easiest way to start learning how to pedal backwards. I'll demonstrate right now. So run into the wall, lean forward, pull back. Just like that. All right, we'll do it one more time. Run into a wall, lean forward, pull back. There we go. Not too bad. And that technique can be used on any bike. For example, I'll grab a gravel bike. Run into the wall. Ah! Maybe I'll lower the seat first. Yeah, there we go. Are we riding with me? Okay. Get in the mode. Just like that. And repeat. There we go. So you'll notice like one of the key things that I'm doing here is I kind of lean forward and allow the front wheel to go where it wants to go. And then I just squat a little bit and just keep my thighs flexed the whole time. So you kind of want to be letting the bike do what it wants to do. Um, and that can be tough to balance. And so one of the things that you can do to get your balance before learning to ride backwards is learning how to do a track stand. And using your brakes, you can do a track stand by just simply turning the wheel, brake, push into that, go backwards, hit the brake, hit the brake, hit the brake, hit the brake. So basic bike balance. Right? And then learning to ride backwards is a lot easier. The next step is using a quarter pipe. You wanna walk with me, Finley? Whew. That's a little harder. But it can give you more momentum, so let's try it again. <laughs> Bike wants to lean, right? It's a lot easier on a DMX, I'll tell you what. There we go. Little hops can help if you're really feeling unsteady, a little hop. All right, another way, so the wall method is one way. 
Another way is using a small ramp like this or a large ramp, um, just going up it a little bit and then coming down. And that gives you some speed and momentum. I'll show you. Turning around is one of the hardest parts and I learned how to turn around the wrong way. So sometimes if I want to do like a half cab, you know, I have to go to my left, but I just automatically go to my right because I've been doing it for so many years. Um, when you're learning how to ride backwards, don't worry about the turning around part. Just do, just get the, see how far, how long you can go backwards. Once that balance is there, turning around comes pretty easily. So just try to go as far as you can. So eventually, you'll notice that the bike got slow enough where all I had to do was push on the pedals a little bit and it kind of just started to turn. Um, but when you want to turn around, basically, you want to bring the camera here, down to here. Come, come here closer. When you want to turn around, you basically, you start to turn the wheel like this and the bike will go about this far and then you rapidly spin and push on the pedal. So you're going backwards, the bike starts to spin, you rapidly turn and push on the pedal. I'll show you. All right, Finley, this time hold the camera like at my bike level. So like you see bike and not all of me. have a free coaster then you might have to hop it's called a cab where you go from backward to forward once you get that mastered then you can start learning 180s and it's a lot easier to land a 180 if you've been practicing going backwards for a long long time so one of the mistakes people make is they try to do 180s, they try to do 180s, they try to do 180s without ever working on riding backwards. So it kind of has to be a combination. You have to be doing both at the same time for successful 180s. Uh, but it's the same principle. 180 just adds a little speed to it and you have to land balanced, so it's a little harder in some ways. But here you go. gotta watch for kids and stuff no big deal all right one more technique that I'll show you I'll use the gravel bike again you can use a front bake so if you're riding a mountain bike or a gravel bike and you have a front brake you can do an endo to get some of that balance let me demonstrate Endo forward, turn the wheel, turn it the other way. Don't fight the bike. Yeah, that was it. There you go.
Come on all the way up to the coping here. There you go. You got it. Give that another try. Yeah. Relax, let it pedal backwards more than once. Come up to the coping, the speed will help. Woo! Elbows! Nice job, that was your farthest one yet, man. Keep up the good work, all right? And that's how you get it. Lots of work. I'm not the best at it, but I've been doing it for a long time. I can do some basic stuff and anyone who works at it for a while can do the basic stuff as well. And really it's those basic things that'll eventually translate into bigger and better things and all the things that the pros do and crazy people, but it's just a fun thing that you can do even when you're older, you know, so keep at it. Hope you enjoyed this video.